In this edition of Higher Ed Highlights, Chancellor Gardner joined state legislators and higher education and military leaders in the State House Atrium last week for the Inner University Council's inaugural Military Connected Student Symposium. The event featured panel discussions on how to better serve military connected students on campus and in the workforce. The workforce panel was led by Ohio Chamber of Commerce President and Major General retired Steve Stivers, who said veterans are highly sought after by employers. Uh, there is an intense interest among corporate America in getting veterans to come work in their organizations. And why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. Veterans understand mission accomplishment. They understand teamwork. They understand um, that no matter what, again, you've got to accomplish the mission, whatever that mission is. Chancellor Gardner reinforced that message during his closing remarks at the symposium, saying military-connected students are an asset to Ohio. Higher education, education attainment, is the number one factor in determining whether a state will be strong. And what, what smarter strategy could there be than people who have already proved themselves with commitment and dedication and talent that our veterans and our military-connected students? During his remarks, the Chancellor also mentioned the Department of Higher Education's Collegiate Purple Star designation, awarded to those campuses across the state that serve and support military-connected students. Ohio was the first state in the nation to award the Collegiate Purple Star designation, with the latest round of designees named last week. The five schools receiving the most recent designation, Central Ohio Technical College, Cincinnati State Technical and Community College, North Central State College, Neomed, and the University of Northwestern Ohio bring the overall total to 51 with another round scheduled for the spring. Look for Higher Ed Highlights on the Ohio Department of Higher Education's YouTube page and through our Facebook page and Twitter feed and check out our website at highered.ohio.gov. Thank you for watching and come back next week for another round of Higher Ed Highlights.